Hello guys, who here, back with another video. This time around, guiding you through the Cubesly, uh, St. Cubesly event going on right now. Uh, it's on for the next 14 days, so you got plenty of time to do it. Uh, there's a few things that I want to say before we head into the guide. Uh, first thing is that this is going to give you a small uh, insight or small spoiler to what the uh, gardening system is going to be in Trove. They're going to be a revamp to it at some point. They're showing it out off a little bit and it's pretty exciting and I'm uh, I am personally excited very much to see what it's going to be because there is some twists and turns I feel like and some stuff I didn't actually uh, think that was going to be in this. So gardening is actually going to be uh, quite strong if maybe in the, in the, we don't know exactly but the small insight we get now uh, kind of feels like it's going to be uh, kind of a significant to to trove and its game uh, play style basically so if you like this guide make sure of course you like subscribe and also a small thing some of the steps are very very small so there's very little footage but i do suggest you guys uh, of course or hope you guys gonna uh, watch all the way to the end and get everything uh set up with this so uh without, without further ado let's jump into step number one all right, so step number one is to gather this lucky dust. And it says it's a chance. I'm doing this in U9. And I every single dungeon, I did 30 dungeons. And I got one dust from each. It doesn't matter if you do a big dungeon or a small dungeon. As long as you are op uh, destroying these chests and you're getting or getting loot out of it, basically. And then you have a chance of getting, uh, you know, these this dust. And as I said, I did 30 dungeons and I got it. All, uh, I don't know if the drop chance is lower in the lower difficulties, but at least I did this in U9 and I got a dust uh, uh, basically from every single chest that I was doing. So uh, yeah, I feel like maybe there's maybe a hundred percent. I don't know if there's hundred percent drop chance on it on U9, but it's basically just step number one is basically just doing 30 dungeons and that is going to complete it. And you need 30 to complete the next steps. But uh, yes, this was basically uh, step number one, 30 dungeons, any difficulty, any layer, any dungeon, whatever. I'm pretty sure I should go to do this in Shadow Towers if you really wanted to. But this is step one. Let's just jump on to step number two. All right, step number two is to go to the hub and also then go in, in the back where we have been before uh, in the season, Wheel of Season. So it's next to the Dragon Crucible in the little house here and you have the table called Wheel of Seasons. And then you just head under, uh, under Winter and you just craft the Cubesly Clover Seed. And you just it's going to cost you a thousand flux and some of those lucky uh, dust as well. So craft that one and you're done with step number two. We can head into step number three. All right, step number three is to plant this seed. And you can do this in your cornerstone or in your club. And basically that's all it really takes. You have to just have to put it in your hot bar and place it in your uh, cornerstone or in your uh, club world. Uh, make sure it has light. I'm not sure it has anything to do with it, but make sure it has you know direct sunlight above it. So no blocks above it uh, is probably like a good idea. But that's step number three. Let's head to step number four. All right, step four is to go to the hub again. We're going back to the Wheel of Seasons. And I'm pretty sure all of this we're doing right now is going to be in the new uh, gardening system. So it's not going to be in the Wheel of Seasons forever, but it's going to be in the in the gardening bench, basically. But we're making these lucky stars. It's going to cost you a thousand flux uh, uh, per. So you're going to make five, of course. So it's going to be five flux and the rest of your lucky dust you uh, did uh, gather before. So... Five of those, craft them, and you're done with step four, and we can head into step number five. All right, guys, so step five is to imbue your clover with some luck. And as you can see on the flower uh, right now, I can first imbue it in 21 minutes, and that's going to put uh, one out of five on the quest. So as you probably can see, uh, it's going to take a while until 
I, I get this basically going, but uh, so I will switch over uh, to doing uh, the rest of the guide. Basically, I will do it on Trovisaurus. You can also see that in the description, uh, the full Trovisaurus, but I will go over the rest of the steps because they're not too complicated. Uh, do remember that you can uh, make more of these uh, Cubesley clovers and then you can speed up this step if you want to do that. Uh, it does require you to gather 20 more of the, uh, the, the things we were gathering in uh, step one, basically. But uh, let's gen jump over to Tormosaurus and get the rest of the steps done. All right, guys, so we are on Troversaurus. As Andy can see, they have the full guide out. They always do this, of course, so. But uh, make sure you guys check it out in the description and, and you know, check off the red rest of the steps, basically. So we had the uh, Gathering Luck. That's the one we had the first the Lucky Dust. Uh, we had the, of course, second step, third step, the fourth step. And this is the fifth step that we are on. And, and as they say, remember, you can make more... Uh, lucky stars at the season uh, wheel of seasons to boost up or uh, get through this uh, pretty much uh, quicker. So we are, you know, you get the three in power gym boxes. That's very nice. Next step is pretty quick, uh, pretty quick. That's step six, and it's basically when it's fully grown and also with all the luck on it, uh, you can basically, uh, you basically just have to harvest it. That's all you have to do is to harvest the flower or the clover that you were uh, basically. You're gonna gain two chaos sparks for that. Next thing is to use the Lucky Clover, and the Lucky Clover basically increases your magic find for an hour. So it's basically magic find potions that we can now craft, and that's going to be awesome for uh, the inside. We're going to get into the new gathering system. Oh, no, not gathering system, sorry. Gardening system, that's what it's called. So we're actually going to get to produce our own magic find potions. That's going to be awesome to, to boost that. Also for newer players, that's for sure. 25 Dragonite is what you are going to get. And the last thing is that to trigger your magic find that is only 10 times. You have to trigger your magic find. So when you do a dungeon and you come, you kind of destroy the... Um, the chest in the end that's gonna trigger your magic find sometimes you can trigger once you can trigger twice and you just have to just just randomly or random dungeon farming you're gonna get this and then you're gonna complete uh step eight and then you're gonna get a golden chaos chest which is really awesome i do want to highlight the last part down here uh every day there is going to be a, a daily bonus claim uh today that i'm doing this uh you know uh, the guide uh the luck box is the, that's we got today tomorrow you're gonna get uh gem booster boxes chaos chest uh, dragon coins uh, Bound Brilliance, 9 Life, actually 3 of them, that's actually pretty crazy. Uh, Empower Gym Boxes, uh, Gym Booster Boxes again, Le Luck Bucks, Dragonite, Bound Brilliance, Gym Booster, Chaos Chest, and lastly, Dragon Coins. So, if you're not at least going to play that day, make sure you lock in in the next 14 days, because these are going to be the reward that are going to be here so uh, a little bit unfortunately i couldn't do the guide as the rest of this because it was kind of time gated uh but i think it's actually a pretty nice uh, little system or little bit event i kind of like it because it was something different uh to the other um to the last year's event so it's a bit definitely definitely different so and we also got a little insight into uh what is coming uh you know for the gardening system or the new revamp garden system so i'm very excited that you can craft stuff like this and I'm very excited to know what else we can craft, you know, uh, besides, uh, you know, magic fine potions or clovers. <laughs> I'm probably going to call them magic fine potions, but they're, you know, just increasing your magic fine. Anyways, I've been rambling enough. Thank you guys so much for watching this. If you find this guide helpful, make sure you guys like and subscribe. And thank you guys again so much for watching. And I will see you in the next guide. Bye.